All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So the question of the day is, are you willing to lose the argument to save the relationship? Stay tuned. All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So to answer the question, I think that you absolutely should be willing to lose the argument in order to save the relationship. Now, obviously, it depends on the severity of said argument and how it started and all of this stuff. But you have to remember, even if you are right, you don't have to be the one who make sure that they are right. You have to make sure that your partner knows that you are right. There are some conversations that you do not need to have. However, in this particular situation, you are already arguing about whatever happened and you don't have to be right. You don't have to be right all the time. You can be wrong or you can let your partner think that you are wrong in order to save the relationship because it's not that serious. It's really not because you have to remember you guys are two people who are trying to come together as one. So you are absolutely going to have differences of opinion. And then also sometimes that ego is in the way and you know the type of person that you have gotten into a relationship with. You know if they are egotistical. You know if they cannot back down. And that's something that they can only work on. So there is no sense of you throwing you throwing the wood into the fire ain't no sense in doing that because you know unfortunately you know that they are not as mature as you are or as you would like them to be for whatever reason that's something that they need to work on so why 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 are you going to continuously get yourself upset over this particular situation just let it go just let it do what it do you're not always going to win every single argument, even if you are right every single time. Sometimes you got to be humble and just back down. Let all of that stuff simmer away. And then maybe you guys can come back and have a civilized conversation. Because another thing that you have to remember is anytime that you are in an argument, and you guys are just going back and forth and name calling and y'all throwing all of this stuff against each other. Who's listening? Nobody. Because I got to get my point out there. And you got to get your point out there. And we both pumping our chest because I need to get out what I got to say. And you going to listen to me. But ain't nobody listening. So why put yourself through all of that? You want to be in a relationship? You have to remember that you have to be more self less your partner will hear you a lot more when you're silent because they're not used to you being silent and they're gonna be sitting there thinking like what's going on with her what's going on with him they're gonna be trying to figure it out and at that point then you guys can have a civilized conversation. But all of that going back and forth and throwing all of these words and names, they say the words can hurt you, but words can absolutely hurt you. Words can devastate the relationship. You know the two words that people have an issue saying in their relationship that can really just work everything out or at least work start working toward working things out? I'm sorry. A lot of people have a problem with those two words. And honestly, I'm you know what, I'm going to look up the numbers on these because I feel like a lot of divorces could be stopped by just starting off with I'm sorry and then figuring out the solutions and then working on the relationship to tighten it back up, to get it back to its healthy state. So you two can enjoy the romance. You can enjoy the intimacy with one another. A lot of people don't do that because they're selfish and fearful. Fearful of losing the one that they are yelling at. Fearful that their opinion doesn't matter. Fearful that their voice is not being heard. Let's tighten this up, y'all. Remember, 
You don't have to win every argument when you're in a relationship. Sometimes you just have to back down and let that one go. All right, family, let me know how you like this particular video. I loved it. And definitely, if this is your very first time here, hit the red subscribe button down below or the icon with my lovely face. Because here at I Love Me, 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 I am helping to supply you guys with the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. You see, we are creating happy, healthy, romantic relationships here at I Love Me, Me, Me. So we can decrease that divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. Definitely give me thumbs up and share this information with everybody that you know who needs to hear it. So today is March 15th, so definitely go ahead and check out my links to my online courses. The very first one, you will see what I have next to them. That way you can correlate with what the actual title is for each course. So the very first one is for my super single people. These are the people that are out there. You need some help with understanding who you are. This is before you get into a relationship. However, if you are into a relationship, but you know things are still rocky, you can still rock with this particular program. So you can understand who you are, understand what you want, understand what you need. Period. That program is going to help you out. The second program is for everybody that is in the dating stages. Now, these programs are specifically for my women. I just want you guys to know that. The men. However... If you do happen to purchase this program, you will still be able to get something out of the program as a man. But they are designed for my women out here. But I do understand and know that I do have some faithful, loyal men that listen to what I have to say and they also want to learn themselves. You can still learn something from the program, but just know I am directing my information specifically to the women. Now, the second program, getting back to it, which is all of you guys who are in the dating stages, but you are trying to figure out what you need to ask, what you need, you know, how to actually date, what you are looking for when you are looking for a mate, how you should act, how you should dress. There's a lot of stuff in there that is going to help you navigate through the dating stages so you too can win at this relationship thing and even take it to the next step, which is my third course, which is for everybody who is in a long term relationship or even in a marriage. You may need a boost in your relationship because y'all been together for so long and y'all actually have this um, schedule and you want to break up the schedule and really and start to bring back more passion to your relationship start to bring back more intimacy to your relationship that program is going to help you do just that and of course I have the discount codes down below you will see them right next to the links definitely go ahead purchase the programs start on the programs that way you can see a difference in yourself and also a difference in your relationship so we can stop or at least drastically decrease the divorce rate together. I'll see you again tomorrow. Deuces.